Welcome to Climax Scott's Football TV! After waiting for over two hours before Friday night's scheduled game between Climax Scott's and New Buffalo was postponed because heavy thunderstorms with a spectacular lightning show moved through the area, the two teams hooked up in a Saturday matinee contest with the Panthers prevailing 48-12. The Panthers were focused and enjoyed many contributions on both sides of the ball to move to 2 0 on the young season. New Buffalo got on the scoreboard first on a two yard run by Brad Zietler with 7.53 left in the first quarter, but CS blocked the extra point kick for a 6 0 Bison lead. The Panthers responded on the next series of downs when Ethan Vosberg hooked up with Logan Hunter on a pass play that covered five yards with 5.39 left in the first quarter. Hunter ran in the two-point conversion for an 8-6 CS lead after one quarter and a lead the home team would not relinquish. The touchdown was set up by a long 44-yard pass play from Vosberg to Justin Satterley moments earlier. Satterley crossed the goal line from seven yards out on a run just 28 seconds into the second quarter, giving the home team a 14-6 advantage. The two-point attempt failed, but CS enjoyed a 14-6 lead. A Taylor McNally interception set up CS's next score. A 30-yard touchdown run by Kyler Skidmore with 9.49 left in the second quarter for a 20-6 CS lead. The two-point conversion attempt failed. A two-yard touchdown run by Ethan Vosberg at the 547 mark of the second quarter gave CS a 26-6 lead. Vosberg then passed to Chase Audette on the two-point conversion, giving the home team a 28-6 advantage at halftime. After a fine kick return by Taylor McNally to begin the second half, Cody Leversey continued the offensive onslaught with a big 25-yard touchdown run just 46 seconds into the third stanza, giving the home team a 34-6 lead after the two-point conversion attempt failed. The Bisons finally broke through again at the 536 mark of the third quarter when John Paul Perez teamed up with Brad Zietler on a pass play that covered 11 yards for a 34-12 deficit. The extra point kick was no good. The CS offense wasn't done yet as Logan Hunter culminated a 49-yard six-play drive with a one-yard plunge with 2.02 left in the third quarter for a 40-12 CS lead. Vosberg completed a pass to Cody Campbell on the two-point conversion, making the score 42-12 after three quarters. Jeremy Shear's one-yard touchdown run with 30 seconds left in the game rounded out the scoring for CS after the two-point conversion attempt failed. CS ran out the clock and enjoyed its second win against no losses. CS, which rolled up 324 yards on the ground behind a fine effort by the offensive line, received a balanced rushing attack. With Skidmore running for 84 yards on 8 carries, Leversey 73 yards on 11 carries, and McNally 67 yards on 6 carries. The Panther defense, which gave up 107 yards rushing and 104 yards passing, was led by Myers and McNally, accumulating 7 tackles each. Zach Mobley added 5 tackles, and Levi McClish contributed 4 tackles. Hunter and McNally each had 1 interception. After the game, Taylor McNally and Coach Kevin Langs talked about a very inspired performance by the team, how much the team has improved, and about the week number three battle approaching against Adrian Lenaway Christian, September 12 at CS. Taylor McNally, uh, you didn't get to play on a Friday night, but I got to come back today and you looked pretty strong today. What's your thoughts about your game today? Um, most of us were pretty nervous about going in because we don't really play on Saturdays. But I think most of us uh, came out here and we were mentally, re mentally ready. And then just we had a couple big plays and just that momentum just carried on throughout the game and kept it going. And then Taylor, uh, you guys were flying tonight um, or today. Uh, just talk about, did you want to concentrate and get out to a strong start? Um, yeah, we, we wanted to start off pretty big because uh, last year, I'm pretty sure they uh, were leading in the halftime. 
and we wanted to make sure we uh, kept our lead up. So, yeah, we wanted to keep it going, come out strong. And um, after the uh, Athens game, you, you only put 12 points on the board, but you guys really showed what your offense was made of this this week, didn't you? Yes, sir, we did. Um, just our team's really young. We started off uh, not that great of a start for the season, but after today, I think we're, we got a bright season ahead of us right now. So I, I was real impressed with the offense and defense. You're um. You had a nice game yourself. Was that offensive line open up some big holes for you? Oh yeah, oh yes, they were. They were just they were on on point today. They were doing great. So. And finally, um, I imagine you take a lot of pride in your defense. You had a great defensive effort for your team too. Yeah, everyone was giving it their full fullest. What's the word? I don't know. But <laughs> they were going all out. They they weren't just. Worried about trying to get the stats for themselves. They were doing their job, which allows everyone else to do their job the right way. Unless you're real good today. So you bet. You got to enjoy this a little bit, Taylor. But it's right back at the grind next Friday. Just any thoughts about going to the next Friday's game? Um, we got Adrian one away next week. Um, we're playing at home again, so eh, I think they've they're, they're probably a lot better than they were last year. And, we're a lot younger, as I mentioned earlier, so it's going to be real interesting for both of our teams. Well, congratulations on a great win today. That was a wonderful win for you, Taylor and your boys. Uh, Coach Lang's a little bit out of your element today. Uh, we usually go Friday nights, but Saturday's on the field uh, today. You, you really were flying out there. Yeah, we, we tried really hard to get the game on Friday night, and, I'm, 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 and maybe the AD didn't make a decent decision and decided <laughs> to play Saturday. Beautiful day. It is. Um, and what a thing for the kids to have to go through last night three and a half hours and try to come back. And it would have been uh, interesting if we had to play last night mentally, but I just thought the seniors did a great job of getting us focused for today. Um, just talk about, you You told your team, and I really thought you were flying on both sides of the ball. What a complete game effort by both offense and defense. Just talk about your effort today. Yeah, I, you know, last week Athens did a great job, and there's some things, we're so young, we're trying to grow and get a little better. I thought we took some small steps in that direction. You know, we were just fired up about the Toddy Myers and, and TJ Gibson play because that would remind us of Troy Seelig and Tyler Langs about a decade ago. Um, and that kind of effort, if that becomes catching and we all can do that, that's good stuff. And then um, you, after scoring 12 points last week, you really put it together offensively this week. Yeah, I, I think our offensive line, Adam Audette and Troy and TJ and Ethan and Levi and our tight ends, Chase and Cody, we're trying to figure some things out. And I think they're growing and the, the schemes and, you know, Adam's only a junior, but he has to take a lot of heat for that. And I just think there's some growth in that area. And then on the de defensive side, uh, you talked about New Buffalo. You were, they were going to spread it and maybe throw up yeah. some points on your team, but you guys really shut them down. You know what? Spatially, we did a better job. I, Justin Satterley made one of the best tackles I've seen him make in space in three years. Uh, we thought that was great. You know, Zach Mobley is, is trying to get our front set, and he's growing. You know, Logan Hunter's pick. Um, you know, we're, we're kind of that bend but don't break, right? And then and when Logan made that pick down there when they were driving, I thought it was just a great example of, you know, we're just trying to hang in there and battle. And uh, so it was nice. I thought that was nice. It was. And then uh, you got to get right back at Adrian Lenway Christian here at Big Blue. What can you say about them? Same thing, spread, but they're doing it with 6'9 guys. <laughs> so now we're going to be challenged. Can we keep 6'9 guys, you know, in check? Uh, so we're going to enjoy that challenge and be together this week. And, and for the third week in a row at Big Blue Stadium, see uh, see what the outcome is. And you got a message for somebody in uh, Philadelphia, I think, Pittsburgh or uh, Pennsylvania. That's right. We just want to remind uh, the Delaware County uh, Christian Knights that uh, 145 lead eye was not our first play this this game. It was 218 keep pass. So that one's to you, offensive coordinator in South Philly. Love you. That would be Tyler Langs. It would be. And Tyler he's doing a, doing a wonderful job there, he too. He is. He is. And he's ran 145 lead eye, 13 straight games, first play. That's wonderful. And for here, that was always been our tradition, first play, 145 lead eye. That's so Climax Gots in South Philly. We got a little connection there. We do. Uh, Coach, good good job today, and we'll, we'll, good luck the next Friday. Yep, appreciate that. DC Knights, Wheat and Thunder, God bless. Thank you. Now remember, Climax Scots will remain at home September 12th for a contest against Adrian Lenaway Christian at 7 p.m. at Big Blue Stadium. Reporting live for www.theclimaxcrescent.com, this is Scoop. I got a job.